Welcome to this video review or a short overview of a new tactical scope made by Schmidt & Bender. In today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about the new high power scope. This is the second in this series which was introduced by the Schmidt & Bender after the 3 to 27. This one is 5 to 45. This scope was first shown at SHOT Show this year in 2016. Now at the end of the year in December, <clears throat> since SHOT Show is in January, now after almost one year, the first production pieces are rolling out of the factory. This was one of the most anticipated tactical scope, scopes of this year, especially because uh, it could be considered as an upgrade of their current 5 to 25 by 56 rifle scope which is if you are honest a benchmark on which all other tactical scopes are measured and at the same time it is also currently a workhorse of many professionals so this is um, an upgraded version we could say with similar functionalities but enhanced usability the first thing what is obvious is the 9 time zoom which goes from 5 all the way to 45. This scope is not really intended to, to be shot at 45 but it does offer some substantial advantage over all other scopes since at 45 you can still see clearly uh, the bullet marks or all other details you need to see uh, and you're not able with other scopes. Uh, we tested this scope com and compared it with a Hensoldt 3.5 to 26. We compared it with a uh, Schmidt and Bender uh, 3 to 27 with uh, Kale SK uh, 624i with uh, US Optics uh, 25 5 to 25, and it really does offer some advantage at high magnification. In, in clear weather, uh, with not a lot of mirage, you are able to see clearly the bullet marks on 500 meters or even more, since the magnification is so huge. But at the same time, for shooting, let's say, let's say from 5 to 25, it's completely usable the same way like all other tactical scopes. So you basically get a little bit more of a punch than with others. Um, as you can see with the build, it's really similar to all current Schmidt & Bender scopes, that means the illumination is on the uh, left side of the main tube. They changed the position of, uh, of the zero setting. Uh, it is now, it's not here anymore, but it's under 45 degrees up, so it's easier to see when you are in prone position. The same applies for the parallax, which is not in the center of the tube anymore, but it's a little bit uh, lifted to this position and it's, it's better and clearly you can clearly see it where it is. The parallax goes down all the way to 30 meters and on the other side to infinity. It is really fine tunable and when you use it you get the feel of quality. It's really nicely made. Uh, the same applies for the fast focus runs smooth, it's quite stiff so it will not change the position and the same goes for the magnification ring. As you can see the scope is fully made out of metal. If you remove the cover like this, yeah, you see that there is no rubber ring on the eyepiece. So a full metal body and all the parts and everything is made out of metal. What is also nice are the new covers as you probably know, if you uh, if you are interested in Schmidt and Bender scopes, that until now all 56 mm scopes, like this one, 5 to 25, came with standard Butler Creek um, flip-ups, and this tactical tough are much better, much nicer, and I look forward that now from now onwards all 56 mm Schmidt and Bender scopes will have these high quality covers. These are small things but they do also matter. <clears throat> so this scope has a 9 times zoom which is extraordinary. It weighs approximately 1100 grams 
so 1.1 kilogram. It has a 34 millimeter tube, like standard. Um, it has a superb resolution at high magnification. And in my opinion, it has a little bit of better eye box than 3 to 27 by 56 model. Not much, a little bit, and both of these two scopes have a good eye box, I would say, in general, if we compare them with others. Uh, it is really easy to mount because you have a lot of space for mounting. This is um, different than with ultra short models where you need special mounts for them. And with uh, 43 centimeters of length, it is quite a long scope. It is the longest Schmidt & Bender produces at the moment. It is even longer the, than the normal 5 to 25, about 2 centimeters. And even more substantially longer than the model 3 to 27 by 56. This one is quite a lot shorter than the bigger brother. Mm, it is also available in three colors, like all other Schmidt & Bender scopes, that means in black, in sand brown, uh, RAL 8000, and in the, um, uh, flat the, uh, dark earth, this is the Pantone color. So nothing new in this regard, and you can configure it with many different options, reticle, uh, you can choose the type of reticle, you can choose the, um, uh, the click value, you can choose the color, you can choose the rotation direction uh, on the scope. If we go to the reticle, the reticles are all at the moment located in the first focal plane, which is normal, this is a tactical mil mil scope, or MOA MOA scope, it depends what you choose for the clicks. Uh, but at the moment only three reticles are available, so I think that and I hope that in the future other reticle styles will also be available. Since this scope has a really huge magnification for, for a tactical scope, I also think that some new reticles would be a nice upgrade, because uh, P4 Find and um, Tremor 2 and Horus reticles which are available at the moment they were all designed for scopes with a little bit lower magnification. If we look, uh, this particular model has P4 fine reticle, and I think on the highest magnification, the reticle could be done a little bit finer still than it is at the moment. But of course, for shooting, uh, let's say from 5 to 25, it is completely usable and very nice. What is also a big plus for, for this scope is that it has no tunnel effect. Even at the lowest magnification, at 5 you have a wide field of view and a really good situational awareness when you look through the scope. Uh, the build quality is also superb. So the reticle they are all illuminated, all three types. The illumination is controlled here with 11 intensity levels. All levels are meant for low light use, they are not daytime bright. And all three reticles are in the first focal plane. If you go and check the turrets, you can see this is uh, a turret type which was shown already on ultra short models. The Schmidt & Bender calls it um, German flag turrets because you can see the colors black, uh, red and yellow, the same like on the, on the German flag. It is however different, this turret on this scope is different than those on the ultra short models. The difference is in the travel because on the ultra short models you have 17 mils of shovel in one revolution here you only have 14 so in this regard you have a little bit less elevation on the turret you have 27 or 28 uh, mils of elevation which is more than enough for anyone um, but still it is less than on ultra short models which have 36 mils of travel in two turns the turret has a uh, a zero stop, one click below zero, and it's a double turn turret, which has a nice turn indicator. Now we are in the second turn, so the 14th mil, you can see here, the turn indicator pops out. Uh, this is really easy, you can feel it, you can see it, you can even in the night, you can still feel it where it is, and it's a really good feature. Then, of course, in the second turn, can go all the way to 27, a little bit over 27 mils of total uh, elevation. Um, as you can see, the turret also has MTC feature. That means that each full 
M rod or each full mill has a stronger click, so it stops. You see like this, and of course it stops on zero. The zeroing of turret is really easy. You just when you find your zero position, let's say somewhere here, you just lock the turret with the locking mechanism. Then you have two screws. You see here, here and here, these two screws, which are, you can see, this screw and this screw. You just uh, loose these screws, go back to unlock position, go to zero, the turret will click, but however the connection between the internal mechanism and the turret is disconnected when you loose these screws. You go to zero, lock it back, and now you tie the screws back in and the connection between the elevation mechanism and the turret will be reinforced again re-established so really easy you don't need any special knowledge or anything like this it's it's really easy um, the windage turret is capped with a cap this is really strange for such a long range tactical scope as you can see they moved the zero position up it's not in the center of the tube anymore but it's up so it's easier to see if you're in prone position the clicks here are really nice audible really crisp really nice and you have the NTC on zero so in both directions when you go six mils into one direction when you go back to zero NTC will stop on zero here like this nice feature it is a little bit strange that they didn't offer their normal MTC uh, LT turrets on this model and that the windage turret on this model is capped but I spoke with many technical shooters and in essence most of the people like this approach so uh, the clicks can be one centimeter or 0.1 mil or MROT um, or they can be in MOAs if you wish um, you can also choose the clockwise or counterclockwise rotation in general I would say these turrets are really really nice and I like that there is less elevation in two turns than on the ultra short models a lot I think this is a, a good approach but I also think that it would be really nice if they would offer this standard turrets which you can find on other high power models on the big one also I hope this would be a future upgrade because these turrets I like them some of the people don't like them I do so I hope that these turrets will also be offered on the 5 to 45 model if I make a short summary this is normally a high quality tactical scopes from from uh, Schmidt and Bender um, in their new series high power um, I think it it offers everything what 5 to 25 scopes offer but with an additional uh, bigger magnification which goes all the way to 45 so it's perfect also for observation if you want to see a bullet impact on a really long range this is the perfect scope uh, what is also great is that it doesn't have any tunnel effect at any magnification uh, the optics is really brilliant it's usable also on the 45 so it offers really great resolution at high magnification and it's not really dim so it's still bright even if you go all the way to 45 the only thing is if you have a 56 millimeter objective lens with a 45 time magnification you have to accept that the eye box at this setting is not the best because of course it would be a miracle if it would be um, I also think it's a great choice for anyone who is looking to upgrade his 5 to 25 model to this uh, 5 to 45 because it is a better scope in all aspects uh, what I think is still a room for improvement the scope is really long I, I hope that they will be able to make a ultra short version of this scope uh, I would also like uh, normal type of turrets as an option instead of this ultra short um, low profile turrets but this is only my opinion uh, I also think that the prices with this new high power and this extreme zoom tactical scopes went really high uh, 
as from a user perspective I would hope that the prices could be a bit lower but on the other side if you compare this scope with similar super zoom tactical scopes from let's say Hensolt or Leupold or US Optics and so on the price is not that much higher it's not even higher so I would say <clears throat> if you look from this perspective it is quite acceptable Thank you for watching. If you need any additional information about this scope, if I forgot to mention anything or something like that, if you have additional questions, send us an email, use comments on this YouTube video, and normally please visit our webpage. Also, like our comment, uh, like our channel, please.